So a similar line of questions that you were asked concerned the Google antitrust investigation. And, and Google, big tech as a whole, contributed over $15 million to the Joe Biden campaign. They're enormously important Democratic donors. There will be enormous political pressure to abandon that case against Google. Can you give this committee assurances that you can stand up to that political pressure just because Democratic fundraisers want to, want to be lenient on Google that the Department of Justice will not give in to that pressure? So Senator Cruz, I'm old enough to remember when uh, there was a political effort to end the case in the just antitrust case in the Justice Department against ITT. Uh, which gives you an idea of how old this is, that there is no IT&T any, anymore, the International Telephone and Telegraph Company. This, uh, I, I, if I'm not wrong, this was uh, uh, one of the um, uh, paragraphs in the indictment, uh, the proposed indictment uh, um, of impeachment of uh, President Nixon, I think, but it was around the same time. And it had to do with a partisan effort uh, to influence the Justice Department and the Antitrust Division. I grew up knowing that this is uh, not something that is permissible for the Justice Department to do. And uh, my whole life has been in uh, uh, looking at Ed Levy and uh, Watergate, uh, post-Watergate attorneys general who stood up to that kind of stuff. And I can assure you that there will, I don't care what kind of donor talks to me about what of anything. I don't expect to talk to any donors. I have no conflicts. I don't own any Google stock and I will do whatever is the right thing, and I don't own any stock, I, or I won't once, uh, if I'm... Let me ask two very quick questions, because yeah. my time is expiring. Yeah. Number one, you voted to rehear the Heller case, or actually the Parker case on Bonk. I did. I argued the Parker case in the D.C. Circuit. Um, as Attorney General, will the Department of Justice argue for the Supreme Court to overturn Heller versus District of Columbia? Uh, uh, the department, um, uh, uh, you know, makes all kinds of judgments like that. I, uh, uh, I, I can't promise, but I, can, I find it hard to believe that the department could think that there was any possibility of overturning the Heller case. Okay, and then There's the final no one, with the chairman's indulgence, because I'm at the end of my time. Yeah. Nine senators wrote a letter to Chairman Durbin asking this committee to investigate Governor Andrew Cuomo's policies concerning COVID and sending COVID positive individuals into nursing homes, a senior aide of his admitted to a cover-up to hide information from the Department of Justice. You've committed to a number of investigations here at this hearing today. Will you commit to investigating the extent to which the government of New York broke laws or covered up their policies concerning COVID-positive patients in nursing homes. With all, all of these investigations, the Justice Department is open to evidence of fraud, false statements, violations of the law. They normally begin in the appropriate way in the US, relevant U.S. Attorney's Office. And that is the way that, that uh, something like this, without commenting on this in particular, because I don't know the facts. But, but in this instance, the acting the U.S. attorney is the mother-in-law of the senior official in the Cuomo administration that admitted to the cover-up. Will you at least commit to not having the, the investigation done by a person with a conflict of interest? Of course. Uh, I, I, I don't know any of the facts, but I can guarantee you that somebody with a conflict of interest will not be the person running an investigation of any kind. Thank you. 